Hello everyone, my name is Marisha. Hopefully you hear me fine. And as you can see, today's topic is why is it necessary to go to church? It is necessary because judgment starts in the house of God first. This is where the law of the universe starts. It's not the philosophy, it's not the physics, it's not the science, it's not the chemistry, it's not the math, literature, reading, history, it is not. Because God created the heavens and the earth. And that means he's in control. And people gathering to honor him, to worship him, to acknowledge him, that makes a big impact on the earth, on the planet, in the universe, it makes a big impact. But now imagine, like now even imagine, this is happening now, now people are not gathering as they should together collectively, worshiping the Lord, why? Because they're afraid of man, they're afraid of things of the world, they, they fear the material things, the temporary life, they're afraid of poverty, they're afraid of diseases, they're afraid of losing their life. Jesus Christ said, if you lose your life for his name's sake, you'll gain, you'll receive eternal life. But if you try to save your life, preserve your life, you'll lose it. So as you're living your life for Jesus Christ, you're actually gaining, getting more power from God. You are getting more understanding because the fear of God is the beginning of understanding, knowledge, and wisdom. So when you have these aspects in your life, especially faith, because the faith is what's going to enable you to obey, to go to, to cry out to, to speak to, to communicate to, to worship, to honor, to reverent God Almighty, Jesus Christ. That's what faith is going to do in your life. And once faith is changing you, faith without work is dead. So if you're not working, it is nothing working in your life, any goodness, any life, any joy, self-control, peace, meekness, patience, joy. If you don't have that in your life, there's something wrong. And if you're not building the kingdom of God, that, that it is an issue. Especially now, people are afraid to gather. People are afraid that if a person just sneezes or cough, it's death. A common sick, common cold, a little fever, people are afraid. That shows you the lack of the fear of God. The lack of it. So that should reveal to you, like, hey, this is this shouldn't this is this is not normal. People call it the new normal, it's not normal. It's been happening slowly. No sin, you know. People started to feel offended because judgment started in the house of God. And judgment was heard and, and and taught. If you do this, this is going to be your this is the outcome. You do bad things, bad things will happen to you. If you disobey the Lord, you don't. If you don't trust the Lord, just try to run to hell. And you have certain attributes, you have certain characteristics, certain personality traits. That is an issue, and the Lord is not going to accept it. And people tell you, are you going to go to hell for it? Or this is why you're sick. Or this is why you're going through this issue. And people get upset. Like, no, it's not. It's what the doctor says it is. It's what science. It's what Google said it is. But no. This is the consequences of disobeying God. If you read Deuteronomy. Throughout the word of God. The evil will be cursed. The, the righteous, the good, they will be blessed. But people are evil. Living a cursed life. But they want the blessings of God. That does not work. That's against law. That, how can that happen? Good things continually happen to bad people. Yes, we see it. The rich, the oppressed, the good things happen to them now because at the end, they're going to receive bad judgment, the wrath of God. So they're going to live the best life. They're going to live in their riches. They're going to live in their wealth and their money and have fun now, be vain now. But once they die, they're going to be far away from God. And that's not pleasurable. That's not fun. That's not great. It's not exciting. So that's why you press now. You have faith now. Regardless of what people are saying. Regardless of what the government is saying. Regardless of what social media is saying. Regardless of what people are saying. This nationality. This race. This, these group of people. 
what does the word of God say? What is God telling his people? That's what you should be listening to his prophets. But the Lord said there'll be many false prophets coming. So be watchful of that too. People are coming here with another gospel. People are coming with different doctrine. People are not even speaking the do people are not even speaking the gospel in the house of God anymore. People are saying other vain things. They're doing rituals. They're doing spiritual. They're doing witchcraft in the house of God. Serving idols in the house of God. What is blessing? What is great? Wealth, education, health, and material things. That's when you're blessed. You have money. That is when you're blessed. But no, they think, all oh, because they don't have, you don't have a job, you don't have the best car, you don't own the best make, uh, makeup kit, you don't have the best room decor, you don't have the best hairstyle, the best apparel, the best camera to take pictures with. That's, they feel like, oh, that life is cursed. They're like, no, what's cursed is depression anger insecurity anxiety lust pride fornication sleeping around people you're not married to even if you're married sleeping around adultery being a liar being a thief being perverted in your mind always having sexual thoughts toward children or to the same gender or you're confused confusion is sin too you're confused if you're a man or a woman and you do what come what it's against nature. You don't care. Or you do care, but you just don't know. You're confused. Or you refuse to know. Like somebody can come tell you the truth. But today I work. Next, I just, you know, casual conversations person. Just quick conversation. Trying to get the gospel in a little bit. Hey, how are you? Doing well. How was the weekend? I worked. Oh, okay. And I asked him, you're Christian? No, but before that. And I asked him, he said he works um, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, you're a Christian? He goes, yeah. So you in church? No. I said, why? I don't know. I was like, hey, man, Jesus come back soon. You know better. Like, people know better. People at church, churched up, they know better, and yet, uh, we don't, I don't go to church. I don't, I don't believe the four walls. The building is not the church. The people are. Yes, the people are the church, but you need to gather together. You're not the church by yourself. Oh, I have me in my household. <laughs> Where's the pastor? Where's the prophet? Where's the, where's the apostle? Where's the evangelist? Where's the teacher? Where are the people? Where's the order? Where's the authority? Where's the leadership? God has order. God has order. And people are living outside of this order. And that's where the confusion comes. That's where the lack of the fear of the Lord comes. That's where the curses come. That's where the paranoia comes. That's where idolizing putting people before god comes putting your job before god comes putting your relationship before god just doing the vain and useless things loose with your mouth loose with your words because you don't care because people need to hear your two cents oh people are not woke so let me tell you let me let let me let people know on youtube and facebook know what google said like what what kind what and then you die that way, six feet dead, and in the earth dead. Body is so far from God in hell. And yeah, doctrine of devils. People are teaching doctrine of death, false religion, doctrine of devils. It's polluting the earth. It's causing bad things to happen, but people, it's not that deep. No, it's not. We need people to come together. We need people to come and dance together. Need, we need to paint faces with each other, listen to music with each other, cut each other hair, tattoo each other, drink together, dance with each other. You know, this is how we bring the world together. Poetry, the arts, it's our imagination. Like, no, that's what, this is what caused people to fall, period. It caused, because people are no longer focused on the Lord, they're, rather they're focused on themselves and each other. They refuse to have God, retain God in their knowledge. They're ungrateful. They know God, but they refuse to acknowledge God and worship God as he is. Instead, they worship man, animals, object things, bugs, statues, their reputation, 
their status. That's, that's what matters most, not God anymore. So when you have that, then you're gonna see the chaos in the world. That's where you see the Sodom and Gomorrah attitudes and you see the murder, you see the craziness, you see the confusion, the strife, the battle. Oh, it's religion because no, it's sin that causes it. People rejecting Jesus Christ Almighty. That's what's causing the problems on this earth. People refusing to acknowledge God and their knowledge. Retain God. They know better. They thought they were wise. Like, no. There's there's another way. Jesus is not the only way. There's other ways. Yeah, and they and they tap into or get into trying this different religion. And, and they're even worse. Worse than before. But you think it's fine. But no, I feel better. I feel relieved. I cross my legs this way. By diffusing this oil this way, we are planting these plants. I feel like a new person. Excuse me? You have a soul, you have an emotion, you have a spirit, you have a body. You may feel with comfort, but there is a yearning going on. There's an emptiness, a thirst going on in your heart, in your mind. Oh, it's a soul search. No, you need to go to the Lord. First seek his kingdom and his righteousness and everything will be added unto you. So why is it necessary to go to church? That's where judgment is. Life, the truth, the way is there. Jesus Christ, he's coming back soon. He's looking for a spotless church. He's looking for those who are ready, prepared. And there's a standard. There's a way to live. But man, there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is that people think this is the way. Like, no, this is going to help the world problem, the, the hunger, the famine, the diseases, the war, it's going to help. No, it's not. It's bringing more death. Look, they're killing, they're killing each other now. Clearly, people are killing each other. Oh, we got to have these community recreation centers. And people break into it and steal the stuff in there. The staff molesting and lying and doing fraud. Like, come on now. So this shows you. Oh, well, you find that in the house of God, too. Yeah, and those people are going to be judged. And they're going to be even worse because, because they know more. They get more whips compared to who, who, who doesn't know. So the church needs to come to repentance. And the Lord is doing that. Especially in America, like since the church has fallen, they forgot their first love. The Lord is causing things to happen this way. So people, one, separate. Who is where's the where the wheat's and the tares, and those who are the wheat, you're preparing them for the harvest. Like, hey, as you grow now, you be watered by me. You get you get planted here, you get watered, and then God's gonna provide the increase. When the, when there's a when there's a real famine, when it gets hard, the Lord will be known. His name will be known on all the earth when this happens. So, be prepared, stay focused. Why? Because the kingdom of God is at hand and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And he must be born again in order to see the kingdom of God.